10 minutes past 8 o'clock. It is Wednesday morning, the 10th day of July, 2024. Good morning, everyone. I'm Scott Micklin. Thanks for tuning in to KSJE 90.9 FM over the air here in San Juan County, New Mexico. In Durango, Colorado, we broadcast all the time at 103.3 FM. And if you're anywhere else on the planet and want to tune us in, here what we're up to, just go to our website to listen. That's all we're streaming, of course, at ksje.com. I also want to welcome our viewers this morning who are joining us. The video of this program is streaming out live to the KSJE Facebook page and also to our YouTube channel. So welcome aboard, everyone. I am glad that you are with us. Coming up in the next few moments, my conversation with Sam Regional Medical Center. We are talking about healthy living in the area, and that includes a representative from FAST, the Farmington Area Single Track. So we'll be talking about that as well. So think about your bikes and uh, tune in in the next few moments right here on KSJE this morning. Then, of course, we'll check in with Mick Hess. Next hour, he'll take us roving with the arts, our weekday classical music program, coming your way after the news at 9.06 on KSJE. That takes us to 10.30 and right on Four Corners, our local and regional author program. Host Del Cherie Gladden is talking to another regional author this week, so stay tuned for that immediately following at 10.30. And it's baseball time, the city tournament, the AABC city tournament is airing on KSJE with the games from Ricketts Park every night this week until Friday at 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. This tournament will determine the host team for the Connie Mack World Series, and so you'll hear all the action live tonight, the 5.30 game and the 7.30 game right here on KSJE Radio. Don't forget, of course, you can check out our on-the-road programs, taking you to local community events on Facebook and YouTube, our latest adventure, to the Farmington Museum to check out the Sherlock Holmes, the exhibition, the new exhibit at the Farmington Museum. You can take a look at it on our KSJE On the Road program on Facebook and YouTube. Outside our studios here at San Juan College, it is a sunny Wednesday morning, currently 71 degrees. We're expecting a sunny day today, our high 91 this afternoon. Clear skies tonight, the low 67, then tomorrow sunny and warmer with a high of 93 on Thursday, 94 on Friday, 95 by Saturday, and 94 again with sunshine on Sunday. But take a look, maybe some chances of a thunderstorm developing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights as we get those hot weather temperatures in the afternoons that might be enough to pop a thunderstorm or a, a scattered shower in the afternoons. We'll keep an eye on that weather forecast as well. I'll be back with my guests with more right after this on KSJE. KSJE is supported by San Juan Regional Medical Center, whose vision is to deliver world-class care, making life better for the communities they are privileged to serve offering a comprehensive range of inpatient, outpatient, and emergency care services so residents can live life better here. San Juan Regional Medical Center, community owned and operated, here for you. KSJE is supported by Music in the Mountains, a world-class classical music festival based in Durango, Colorado, offering orchestra, chamber, and world music concerts from July 11th through August 4th. This year, the concerts come to you with free mobile stage performances in the region, plus other unique venues throughout the area. Find out more about Music in the Mountains at musicinthemountains.com. KSJE is supported by Branches of Care Clinic, providing affordable care with monthly memberships, located inside Care Drug in Aztec. Offering flexible scheduling and same-day appointments, services include quick care appointments, DOT and non-DOT physicals, as well as sports physicals. Their provider specializes in women's health. They also offer help with weight management. Find out more about Branches of Care Clinic inside Care Drug in Aztec at caredrugwithak.com. And back in Studio A with me this morning, as I mentioned, my guest from San Juan Regional Medical Center and FAST, Roberta Rogers is here from San Juan Regional Medical Center. Good morning, and thank you for coming in. It's nice to have you here. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Scott. Thanks for having us. You bet. You're the Director of Marketing and Communications at the hospital, I should mention I that am. as well. And also, you brought with you another special guest. We're glad to have him here as well. Chris Connolly is here, the President of FAST, the Farmington Area Single Track. Chris, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, everybody, and thanks for having us here, Scott. You bet. 
Roberta. Thank you for welcome. thank you for coming in. And uh, let me start with Roberta this morning because it was kind of your I think idea to invite Chris and to come on the show this month to talk a little bit about the importance of being active and, and getting out and enjoying this area that we, we call home. We have so much um, activities and things right literally in our own backyard and so that goes along with some of the hospital's goals I think of trying to get all of us a little healthier and have healthier lifestyles and things like that. You bet. So we want to encourage people to live a healthy lifestyle, right? Um, medicine is your lifestyle, right? If it's a healthy lifestyle we want people to get out and enjoy life and enjoy the good things in our area and uh, Farmington Area Single Track is a great organization promoting our youth, teaching them how to ride a bike, but teaching them so much more. So um, I learned about uh, FAST and the work that Chris is doing in January uh, when we had our Healthy Living Expo and he was out there with his booth, young kids getting on the track, writing for the first time and it's just really empowering to see the good that they're promoting and we want to promote good so it's a good partnership very true very true chris talk to me a little bit about the partnership with salmon regional medical center and helping you all do what you do yeah so we're, we're very blessed to have partners like san juan regional medical center um, that, that allows us to do what we're doing with the youth in the community um, Roberta reached out to us and, and asked if we could be a part of the, the Healthy Living Expo and so we set up a Strider Kids course there um, and got I think it was 76 kids at that event on bikes and, and got them going so that was a that was a great experience for for everyone there. Right that seems like a lot to me that number. Uh, yeah you know we've, we've been averaging that at, at most of our events that we hold for the community and, and we'd like to see that number grow. So. Nice. Nice. Tell me more about FAST, because for folks maybe who aren't familiar with it, um, and they, but they should be, because you guys have been pretty active and are really around a lot of the county uh, with your programs and activities and programs for kids, I would say. So it's Farmington Area Single Track, and talk to me a bit more about the organization. Yeah, so we're a, a nonprofit organization that, that formed um, with the intention to do trail work in the community and, and also um, develop this youth program. So. Um, we have eight-week programs that happen in the spring and eight-week programs that happen in the fall um, for youth from two years old to 18. We've also added adult classes now, so that's an option. Um, we have 10 kids that ride with two coaches. That's kind of the, the numbers that we shoot for, and they'll ride eight weeks, one night a week, um, different age groups. You know, they're, they're more in their peer groups. Mm -hmm instead of based on on their skill level if you will it's it's more of a peer-based deal um, so the kids ride with coaches they learn how to be a good stewards of the land trail etiquette um, biking skills those types of things are, are the main focus of the program with that there's a side effect they learn you know they, they build confidence they they learn how to be a part of a team and all these other things that kind of come along with it that they don't really realize they're getting so we're, we're tricking them sneaky yeah. sneaky but that's yeah. a good we, thing we use the bike to trick them right very true <laughs> and in this area i mean we are mecca aren't we for for biking and all the trails that we have all the access and things like that to be able to get out and enjoy the area well yeah i mean it with with our pretty mild weather that we have you can ride year round with the exception of a couple times in the winter if we get a snow or whatever but that's where the fat bike comes in you can hop, there you on, go. hop on that ride in the snow right. so um, yeah we are we are really blessed to have the climate that we have and and the area it's it's, it's conducive for exercising year round sure so. And the trails too. I mean, that's also built in, isn't it? I mean, all the trails we have access to here. Yes, the the trail infrastructure is is great and continually growing. So so yeah, it's it's an amazing asset that we have here for sure. sure. That's great, Roberta. I want to come back to you a little bit, talking about the weather and being able to get out and be active yeah. most days of the year. And I think that's true for biking and and other things that promote a healthy lifestyle. Right. And I just want to brag on uh, Farmington area single track a little bit. Uh, personal experience. So this uh, farming, city of Farmington had a summer camp and I have a colleague and co-worker who her daughter was struggling learning how to ride a bike, not feeling very confident. So when Chris talks about they're teaching how to ride a bike but they're teaching and building confidence, they're teaching values in kids, how to build friendships and we went out there, uh, my colleague and I, to go see her kids riding at the pump track and 
she was struggling, but the day one with uh, fast, she got on the bike and learned that morning, not that day or a couple of days before. She was smiling, her mom was smiling even bigger. I was smiling and supporting her. So this is something we want as San Juan Regional Medical Center to promote. Uh, youth uh, gaining confidence. Uh, being out in the great outdoors and moving, that's what living a healthy lifestyle is about. Um, and so, you know, they're making this happen. I want people to know about what's going on in their community that is just remarkable and wonderful. We have so many good things here. And, uh, you know, FAST has a lot of great sponsors. We're happy to be one of the many sponsors that they have. And we want people to be aware of what's available for kids and get them out and moving and enjoy all the good we have here. Right. So, Very true. Choose better. It's a good partnership. Yeah. So that's yeah. wonderful. And it seems to me, when I was a little kid, the bike was kind of my key to, to freedom a little bit, right? Because I didn't have to wait for mom or dad to drive me everywhere or, or walk everywhere. I mean, the bike kind of signaled that freedom as a, as a kid. Is that still the case? You, you nailed it. Like, and, and that was the thing for me. As I mean, my youth. bike was steam powered. We'll leave that as it was. I'm so old. But anyway. <laughs> it, it had stone wheels. That's or, right. Yeah. That's right. Pulled by a dinosaur. I can't believe you're that old. <laughs> um, yeah. So it, it's, it is that it's that first ticket to freedom that you know instead of going two doors down it's two blocks it's two miles it's whatever you know whatever your parents are willing to let you go and mm -hmm. so yeah for me as a youth that was just it opened up this whole new world and so for us to be able to help share that experience and give that experience to youth nowadays which parents seem to try to lock their kids indoors and keep them in front of screens and we're we're trying to do the opposite because um, that screen time is proven to be detrimental to kids and um, you know there, there's studies that have been done about getting kids outside and the benefits of it and, and so we're really pushing that and trying to get kids out outside and active and and yeah that that sense of freedom is just something that can't be yeah. can't be explained really it's just Right, and I guess that's part of maybe the reactions on these kids when you get them on a bike for maybe the first time, and they're they're able to you know figure it out and, and do really well right right away. I mean, that just seems to be a, a win win. It, yeah, I mean, there you know some kids they pick it up instantly. Other kids, it's it's a longer process, but um, you know it's it's once they get it, you see that light switch, and and yeah, it's just it's transforming for me to be able to see that process, and I think. You know, we've got a coaching staff of over 26 now, which is 99% volunteer based. And I think the reason for that is because they see that in the kids. The transformation that happens in these kids in eight weeks is just astronomical. I deal with professional adults all the time. And in eight weeks, I've never seen a transformation in an adult like I've seen in these kids. So that is just profound to me. and, and pushes me to keep doing what I'm doing and, and supporting our coaches and, and our board members and everyone that makes this happen. Um, it's just, it's a very worthwhile cause. That's terrific. And and we were talking too, before we came on the air this morning, a bit about FAST and that you're, you know, kind of the organization is working on, on trails and developing trails and promoting trail development in, in the region and maintaining trails, but also these programs that you talk about with the youth and being able to help them and, and those two kind of two tiered types of things that you're doing at the same time. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, we're helping build infrastructure and maintain infrastructure plus we're also offering the the classes and and free community events that we do um we offer a trick-or-treat ride every year that's a, a hit kids get on their bikes and their costumes and ride a trail system that we pick out and they'll have candy stops along the trail and so it's just it's a real cool way to get kids out and get them active and um they get some candy out of the deal but <laughs> very good that's that's awesome i want to point out um the pump truck that we've talked about a little bit this morning because i think that is maybe the most recent um development that fast was was part of and the college too here at san juan college right at the corner of 30th and, and college boulevard when it's not under construction people can drive by it and see it and check <laughs> and check it out but that's a pretty cool new area isn't it for uh, for bikers yeah we've been working on the it's called the san juan college bike park you know we've been partnered with the college for for a few years now and, and been working on that and yes that asphalt pump track is the most recent thing that the college 
um, got some bond election money and, and got that put in, and that has just been a tremendous asset to that park. Um, nice. That, but with a lot of input from you folks, I think. Well, yes. I mean, it, it was our organization that really pushed the college to move forward with that. So, you know, we, without our organization pushing, it probably wouldn't have happened, but we're so blessed to have the partnership that we have with San Juan College and, and them being behind it 100%. Um, yeah, and there's there's going to be restrooms coming with that soon. So you know that the development of that area is huge, and it's a great asset for the youth. Um, and it's not only even utilized by cyclists. There's skateboarders on it, scooters. Right. So it's it's a great community asset that the college has put in there. Yeah, very true. And again, it's something that not every community has or has access to. So it's another feather in the cap, I think, for for outdoor recreation here in in the San Juan County area. It definitely, yeah. The the nearest asphalt pump track is in Bernalillo, um, and then from there, it it's you're talking Colorado Springs or you know pretty pretty good distance. So we we are blessed to have what we have here for sure yeah nice very nice roberta rogers again that comes back to the hospital and healthy living and offering all these outdoor <laughs> lifestyle amenities is, is something the city and the county and other entities have been working on with this whole outdoor recreation uh, part of the economy as well right love it you'll have to get out there scott i will have to get out there <laughs> that's true on my steam powered bike yeah but i'll do it yeah i just wanted to talk and share a little bit about how our partnership with fast originated sure um first with some community relationship uh sponsorship funding uh we were able to give some uh donation to fast to help support these coaches he's talking about and all the great work that they're doing for uh, training that they need so that kids are safe while they're out there with them and some supplies they needed. And then as I learned more and saw more of all the good work that they were doing, I really encouraged Chris to apply for what we call community reinvestment funding. And uh, San Juan Regional Medical Center is dedicated to promoting good in our communities and health, promoting health. and so. Um, in the fiscal year 24, we donated over $126,000 uh, to nonprofit organizations, one being FAST. And so we're really happy to be able to exemplify good, um, amplify it in our community and promote good, because there's so many great organizations like First Tee, FAST, um, United Way, New Beginnings were some of the um, sponsorships we did. So people can go, nonprofits, of course, can go on the website, sanwanregional.com, and apply for these funds. And it's our way of helping our community grow and uh, to choose better to live a he healthy lifestyle. Right. Well, and you mentioned it. It's in the name, that reinvestment in the community. And that's mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah. And the great thing about biking is it's a lifetime sports. While we as a, a healthcare organization promote many of the high school sports and we always want them to be active and doing all these great sports, but biking is something you can take with you from youth to your adult life. You can do it as a family. Um, and like you said, we have so many great trails. I moved here 23 years ago and one of the greatest things that happened to me is I participated in a race, uh, my first one, and I had an old um, nothing against Walmart, but I had a Walmart bike and it was heavy and uh, all the team members uh, that year said, you know what we do with those kind of bikes? We'd throw them off the cliff, you know, and so <laughs> really early on I learned about biking and still enjoying getting out myself, uh, enjoying the trails around here. So it's a lifetime sport, uh, something you can do with your kids, get out there and enjoy life. That's what it's about, is living life to the fullest. And we, as a healthcare organization, want to promote that. So. Right. Very true. And and you're right. I think for any kind of bike, though, I mean, now mm -hmm. that you know about it, you probably have a different type of bike. I do. I would assume. A little yeah, bit lighter. It's a little, little bit easier to pedal and go up hills, which right. I love. So. There, there you go. But, yeah. uh, but again, it's one of those sports that anybody can do it, as you say, of any age, you know, and it helps keep us active as we do get older. And, mm -hmm. uh, and any kind of bike, I mean, it's a fairly... Um, inexpensive entry-level sport to get into and I guess that's part of this too isn't it Chris to be able to get kids on bikes and, and to be able to enjoy some of these things that you're talking about and be in these classes that you're talking about yeah I mean it's it's one of those things it's like any hobby or sport you can get as carried away as you want but right. but you really can get into this relatively inexpensively um, and we've also been fortunate enough to get a grant through the state of New Mexico uh, New Mexico ORD 
and so now we have a trailer with bikes in it and so we kind of have a mobile bike community ride it's almost like a library, I guess, right? You can loan them out? I, I guess that would be a great way to put it. Yeah, we have a library of bikes and helmets in a trailer. We can pull up to a location and facilitate a group ride. If you have nothing, we we can make that happen. So that's been a great thing that we've recently added. And um, so, yeah, for the for the kids that don't have the means or, or you know, the ability to get a get their hands on a bike, we can get them on a bike if they need. And, um so there goes that excuse. Kids. Yeah, de yeah, definitely. And and you know we've got sponsorships for the program. So if you can't afford the program, that's you know talk to us. We'll make sure that you can get in. Um, nice. Registration is currently open on our website for our our fall classes. Um, there are some classes that are already sold out. So I would encourage you to to get on there sooner than later. Um, but nice. What's the website address? It's fast-nm.org. Easy to remember. There yep. you go. I also wanted to ask you, too, I know you've been working in Farmington, of course, but also throughout the county doing more even in the Shiprock area, too, right? And that's an important part of, of FAST's mission is to kind of get out to the county as well? Yeah, we want we want to grow and we want other youth to be able to experience this great, great thing. So um, we will actually be in Shiprock next Tuesday at the high school from 8 a.m. to 11 doing a free community event there. We'll have bikes, we'll have snacks, we'll have our course set up. So... Um, that'll be in Shiprock next Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 11. Nice. Um, we have a community race tomorrow night at the San Juan College Bike Park on the pump track. There'll be time trials there. Um, that will happen starting at 5.30 till the last racer gets timed. And so that'll be tomorrow night at the, at the pump track. Very cool. Lots of things going on. And I know you've got, um, there's a Facebook group, I think. Is there a page or just a group? We have a, it's it's more of a group, and that's something I guess an issue that I need to work on is is maybe have a page too because people can't tag us and things, and that's you know that's kind of been problematic for stuff. But we like having that group where people can interact because that's what we're about is, right. is being a community organization, and so that allows people to to access that platform and and put things up and communicate, and and so it's been a really great asset for us. But not everyone's on Facebook, so. You know, if you want more information about our organization, I would push you towards our website. There's a tremendous amount of information there, upcoming events, um, registration for all of our things, that kind of stuff. So, Very cool. Um, just a couple of minutes remaining this morning, uh, both of you, but uh, Chris, I want to ask you to kind of put on your, look into your crystal ball, and what do you see maybe five years from now? What's what's FAST doing? What are the trail system like in, in Farmington and in San Juan County? What would you see for our future? Definitely more growth within the San Juan College Bike Park. Um, I know the, the BLM and county are working very diligently on, on more trail systems throughout the BLM area, so that's great. Um, our program, we want to continue to grow that. We want to continue to offer that. Um, I'd like to hopefully see our program move to Shiprock, where there's actually classes there that they can kids can sign up in. Um, just further growth and, and getting more people active outdoors on bikes and um, that's that's where I see our organization headed right now. Great, very cool. Roberta Rogers, same question for you. What do you think of the hospital's partnership with, with FAST and maybe other organizations like it? Yeah, we look forward to continuing that and amplifying good and helping people choose a better lifestyle. One thing I would bring out that we didn't talk about is always wear a helmet. Um, it's your Important. greatest uh, safety tool uh, when out riding a bike and we'll August uh, the 6th, I believe, uh, Aztec National Night Out will be there, um, and we'll be giving out free helmets uh, to kids. So come on out and join us, and we look forward to uh, other nonprofits that uh, we can partner with uh, through our community reinvestment funding. So great encourage that very cool that august date i know we will be there as well at minion park yes in aztec for a national night out and uh it's great it, it makes it perfect sense that the hospital would be there yes. and uh being a part of that that great community event as well so that sounds great why well, thank you both for coming in and talking about the work that you are doing and trying to make us all healthier and, and more active uh, for some of us it's maybe a a little bit tougher thing to get out there and, and stay active, but I think it's a great message, Roberta. Yes. Thank you for, for bringing that to us this morning. You are welcome.
Great, very good. Chris, nice to have you here as well. Continue the Thank good you, work Scott. with FAST and the, and the groups that you're working with and, and getting the kids out and being, being active. It's a great thing for the community, so thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us, Scott. You're very welcome. My guest this morning right here on KSJE. TikTok turns against the Biden campaign. From American Public Media, this is...